The eyes are waiting in Vampire Survivors Beswick 108. Thanks for messing around. Time for a perfectly normal run. There is nothing wrong here. No problems whatsoever. To say otherwise would be strange. Okay, what are my stats at? A pretty fast inverse, so that's good. Not a lot of health or recovery. Base armor. Cool that is I am invincible. Might is pretty good. Speed is terrible. Duration and area are also miserable. Uh oh. Uh, growth, pretty strong. Negative curse. That means I'm going to be fighting a lot of nothing. Wow, I can't even see the projectiles. They're so tiny. Uh, well, I don't need cooldown. Hmm. I. This is an interesting one. I think I actually would want luck. Alright, want to make him go bouncy bounce. Get the tiniest slice of animal everywhere. Kind of don't want to go Candelabra Dwarf because this is funny, so I'm going to go defensive. Crown. Yep, get XP up. Oh, they're so adorable. Yeah, what's my magnet at? 68, I have no idea if that's actually good or not. Just due to the weird way that magnet works. I don't want wings, since that's actually a downgrade to my movement speed at this point. More of these, and more fire with... Huh. I actually don't want Toronus Pucks, do I? Well, I do want spinach. And this is actually going to be necessary just due to the weird way this is going to go. I mean, I'm not sure this is going to make it, but I might actually just keep it in for once, because it's so funny looking. Well, on the other hand, the later mobs do get bigger, so it might actually be easier to hit them with a small sights here. And what else am I going to ramp? How many revives do I have? Two revives, that's good. So that goes up to three with a wake later. Or five. Hmm. I want to get the beginning. I would want more size. On the other hand, probably hitting the amount limit on screen as it is. Good. Yep. This is not going to have the strength to get through the rest of it, but hey, we'll see how it goes. Well, I'll see how it goes, and maybe you'll see how it goes if I actually survive. Okay, bigger targets are more vulnerable to it, at least. Yeah, I got a pretty large amount of magnet going on. Armor. Practice the orbs. And get might up as high as I can, though. Actually, isn't this going to be less might than I would normally have? I get 1 to 5, 100 from Silent Old Sanctuary. Uh, 30 from Spinach, so I have 38 base. Yeah, you get 10 per level per. Okay, so my might is actually bad, and I'm not getting Corona's box. Unless it shows up as part of the... God, I keep forgetting to turn random events back on. Oh well. I mean, I don't need silver ring. I don't want silver ring. Well, on the other hand, I have negative curse, so not actually a lot of enemies are going to be spawning in. Because my area is so big. <laughs> not even sure if the... Tiny size are gonna tiny death spiral is gonna show up on the video itself. Fix the video settings. I had no idea what changed them of all of a sudden the Pepino video, and I didn't even notice this when I was looked it over. I just thought it was a generic thing, but it's when I looked at the trouser video, I saw how bad it was looking. I was like, what the heck happened here? So I went and fixed the video settings, and then the second one was fine. 
then I messed up the audio somehow. Which is why that one didn't have my voice, because it was echoing for some reason. I somehow fixed that. Or at least I hope it's still fixed for this. I did a lot of testing for it, and it seemed fixed. But who knows, maybe a long video will somehow unfix itself. You can never really tell these things. Until it's a disaster. Uh-oh. No, I actually probably should have gone random to go in line with the old missing no power. I think I talked about this on the first wave, but it's all just about weird interlocking stuff with Pokemon Blue and Red Gen 1. OG! Just not having a lot of safety checks about things like this. Normally something like missing no would show up and crash your game. But they didn't include that because it was basically a miracle the game worked at all, sometimes. And then, for Gold and Silver, the designer was a miracle wizard. Yep, managed to fit all of Kanto back on that little tiny cartridge, plus a whole new region. Amazing, is it not? Oh, there was a chest back there that I didn't need. Oh, the tiny sights are so cute. I hope they do show up on the stream it stream. The recording of the video itself of Beswick. 108, Vampire Survivors Beswick 108. Oh yeah, I got 108 stars of destiny. I'm the chief star of heaven. What star of destiny are you? Are you the dog star? Are you the tick star? Are you one of the vengeance stars? Are you a heaven star or are you an earth star? Nope, it's tougher enemies. Tiny sides aren't doing that much. Uh oh. This does not bode well for later. I'm gonna have a tag with at least, but that's not much of a help. So I don't have that much else to help me. I, mean, I guess I could re-roll until I get an invincible one. A real missing number, you could say. Not oh, right, the Taglio health. Not that I'm getting hit by anything. Oh, I should go grab these chests now that I have something to get it with. Having inverse controls. Or, no, it's not inverse. Reversed. I mean, I guess it's technically both true, but... I mean, the damage is okay, it's just hitting things that's the issue. It's not something you want for Death Spiral, eh? What? Why are there two? My eye, brethren, come to me. Deliver me to the Arcana chest. I must awaken. The eyes, the eyes, the eyes! Alrighty. Ooh, slash. Yeah, I think I can last till 20. Hey, I don't want area. That's unfair. On the other hand, I might not be able to last till 20. Well, 21. And probably end up like 23. After, because of random stuff. Well, I don't really need to move now. Just need to hope that things work out. So, since it's in a very early lull, I mean, I guess I could go punch the other Atlanteans if I could move. Get some golden eggs on a character that really doesn't concern itself with them. Well, otherwise, thanks for watching. Hope you're having some fun on the Beswick. Vampire Survivor's only, well, I think it's only still $2. A lot of fun for that price point. In fact, probably not going to get a better deal on gaming.
Well, unless it's free, then it's generally hard to. On that note, get Game Pass. I'm not being a paid shill either. I made sure not to check that. I'm just saying, Game Pass is great. It's what, 18 a month now? You get such a huge library, including Vampire Survivors. And other great games. Oh wow, bullet hurt. Whoever could have thought about that. Oh, poor Richie. On that note, did anyone ever watch the Zeta Project? It's part of the DC animated universe. And like, if it wasn't showing up on the pages related to that, I would never have known it existed. Uh-oh. Boy, some area would not be remiss. But why would I do something intelligent like that when I can keep my tiny, tiny sides? Well, it's 20 waves when it'll start becoming bad, so... Hm. Even the Cigarios. Cigario. What? Where did I come up with that? Is that a thing from a Cario? Man, that game was such a meme. For so f it was such a hot flash meme game for a bit. And then it was gone, just like that. I mean, there was only so much you could do with a concept beside adding, like, more and more flags or... Well, not way, what was it? Flags, not flags. Designs, designs. I mean, there were flag designs, but it wasn't really gameplay beyond what it was. You know, it was a couple hours of fun, and then bam, you are off doing something else. Especially if you were, well, the biggest. That was like a whole other ball game. I wonder if that's something you could... No, they were obviously not active during when that was an even. Huh. I don't know. Maybe I'll suggest it on a VTuber. I follow. Because that could, like, fit... Well, the whole branch. Yeah, it's just that in MNOs that could fit the whole... branch, really, I think. Like, they're not gonna get that many for an MMO. Now, wait till you save. Man. Speaking of which, outside of MMO, oh, how many games are there that are that big? Like, eight, like the Battle Royale types, that's about it. Hmm. It's not like I'm holding out hope for any contribution, but I know it's been a difficult thing because. There's not a lot of games for full branches to play together. I think it's Minecraft 2, now that I think about it. Some of those types of games. I mean, guess you get mod stump. Not stump. You could mod... I don't know, Pal World's also got... Well, like some open world games, but Pal World's also memed out. I mean, I still want to play Pal World. Still want to hit all my checklist stuff to us. And then Final Fantasy Rebirth show up. And then Unicorn Overlord. And then IU Dan. And then Final Fantasy 16 DLC. Then it will be time for some Starship Troopers Extermination next patch. I only get that class reset going in. Then probably a new Vampire Survivors thing. As well. That will be plenty more vampire survivors beating every stage with every character challenge. Gotta get that Beswick done. And I really should stop going off on tangents. There's only so much I can say. Tiny scythe, tiny scythe, tiny scythe to the eyeball. The eyes are coming. They're staring into your soul. 
They know, they know, they know, they know, they know, they know! The eyes! Also, I don't know how the audio balances on that kind of bit. Like I know, yeah, hey, it's a defanged drowner. That's a funny thing to see. I wonder if you can defang Stalker. That would be very helpful. Wait, why are you here? Oh, great, uh, it's Green Acres, not Mad Forest. Huh, the sheer size of it means it's getting hit. Hmm. No, DLC enemies shouldn't pop up here. They require money. Same thing with, like, how Fallout New Vegas can't have the DLCs affect anything in the base game, or have the DLCs really affect each other, either. Oh, these dang flowers are so durable. Oh, hey, a chest. Oh, a candy box. I mean, I could get at small axes, and you would never see that I had them. I could totally remove it from the top left the entire time. It would be inexplicable and pointless, but I could do it. I'm not going to. Because I am honorable and just. That's why I totally beat P Gallo Tower with Pepino. And just forgot to record it. Scout's honor. Wait, have I turned Curse back on? I'm certain I have, but, you know, sometimes you forget. Hey, bye, Crab Battle. Huh, that was a lot easier than I was expecting. I guess I didn't, I didn't really get any huge Doom waves like I usually do. Heck, I might even have to use up one of my revives. Yeah, well, if the Manticore keeps getting pushed into me, but... Well, that seems like, but still, I got a whole minute to go. Don't have much in the way of recovery, but I am making my way up safely. Well, that's the last threatening. No, oh, no, giant robots. Okay, I got 40 seconds and 5 revives. Very difficult for them to punch through that. Especially if I were to get a paranormal scanner. Okay, maybe not so much. Oh. Not good. Okay, stand. Ew, that was close. Good thing I grabbed a wake. Those dang robots, super tough. 52 million. Not a bad number to miss. Good thing I went for that defanged bot. Alright, that's the first of missing number down. Time for the more missing number. Okay, it took a lot of re-rolling, but this might be a missing no that actually can get through this. It's been an uphill struggle. Because I have to have move speed to avoid Stalker and the Starburst from the random events. Have to have Might to actually kill things. Have to have cooldown. Have to have greed. Have to have so much. Okay, going boogaloo with this. Oh, this looks like a pretty decent spread of stats if frail, but it's never not frail with missing no. I don't need a mound off this much cooldown. And I don't need Empty Tome, so I can go for Tier Jisu and Attract Orb. No, oh, and of course, Torona's Box. Crown. Is it that? Man, I have so many failures deep, it's hard to talk about things. I've had zero health runs, no movement runs. Lost runs to blood skeletons of all things, to stalkers spawning on me. 
somehow survive Stalker being on my face for like two straight minutes. I've had that exploding gem candle arbiter combination go up with a boss. Nothing I can do about that. It's just crazy. You know what? No trouble whatsoever on the previous stage. None at all. No problem on Green Acres. Just all the problems in the world on the Bone Zone. Wait, did I max out Candle Arbiter over Crown? Ugh, I'm completely out of it. I want Tier Chisu. I will get Wake eventually. No. Bonus Fox. And then a Tractor, because I want to level up. Get Boogaloo up as soon as I can. A lot of runs just lost not having the move speed to get around things. When I picked fights with the Atlanteans for some reason. Almost always the Moon Atlantean up here too, because I can't get down to Metaglio left. Not like Zero Health Guy needs it. Oh hey, Minotaur Wave. And it's getting taken out pretty easily, so I got the power and I got the might to get through this. Just need to make sure that I keep my hand on the ball. Well, controller. And I guess I do mean hand, I don't really need a second hand. Yeah, pretty survivors. Great for people who want to play video games with one hand. Which was me once upon a time. Till I grew my third hand. I call it Pete. How close am I? I'm decently close. Oh, I got a bunch of treasure chests I completely ignored. That's not good. All that talk about being vigilant, and I'm already losing it. So many rounds in. So much footage to delete. Well, the stalker on me is going to be kept for a short. I should do that. Boy, does YouTube love shorts. Oh, there you are, Atlantean. Give me a ring. Sweet. Getting it very far away. Oh, not yet. Gotta remember, controls are inverse. Hey, I'm out. Random always. Yeah, to the Metaglio. At least I'm getting levels at an incredible pace. Yeah, that's what 61 growth is. Wait, I'd have more growth without this. Oh well. That's what 436 Magnet gets you. What's my luck at? 64 is pretty good. Means I might be able to run slash. Hmm. Yeah, slash would be more damage than Iron Blue will, with how big these are. Okay, so slash into awake. And the TRG Su is safe. No, awake first, just to be sh safe. I see Atlantean. Did I take it down and grab the egg without noticing? Oh, no, there you are. Yeah, it turns out without any curse, you're pretty slow, eh? Not as slow as I have been playing, but... Definitely noticeable. Ah, my gaming posture is so terrible. One day my head will fall off my body because of it. Where'd that chest come from? A poor dopey boss has spawned in here. 
Oh, is it that big skeleton? Oh, there's Stalker coming to get me. Still have no idea how its movement works. Go diagonal, it apparently catches up to you. If you don't, apparently can't catch you. Until it suddenly does. Well, oh, boss is no trouble. Now, if Stalker could just go away. And the Atlantean as well. You've taken a lot of damage. Why aren't you gone? There you go. Give me that point one speed. Wait, is it 1% or 0.01%? Huh. Oh, my speed's actually high. How'd that happen? No, no, it's gonna spawn back in on the bottom and I'm gonna run right into it, aren't I? Oh, Arcana Bat. Arcana Skeleton's gonna spawn in soon. Arcana Skull? Arcana Skull. And then I'm gonna not notice it. Run past it for like five minutes, then finally come back to it. Still not sure if Stalker is gone or not. I think it's gone. Where are you at, my Arcana? Come here. I miss you. I'm missing no. No missing. Wizardry with the pocket monsters. Yeah, I'm pretty safe. So let's be dumb and get Slash instead, because I like to lose. I really would have preferred to save them chickens, but it is what it is. It's giving me a lot of levels, so no complaints about that. basically instantly. And them sights are getting pretty dang large. Stalker is definitely gone by this point. I know how don't know how long ago that was in ultimate terms. Well, that one didn't last long. Even the bat wave is getting mowed down pretty well. That's what 271 might gets you. Hopefully this should be on easy street. And it'll feel so sweet. So I'll be on easy street. And I can take a load off my feet. Well, foot. And cybernetic enhancement. I'm part robot, that's why I have a third hand. Ha 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 ha. Bee boop, bee bop. No. Oh. The moment I stop paying attention to the screen is the moment the starburst of the stalker is gonna show up. Might as well get this money. I desperately need cash, you know. One day it's going to expand how much cash is shown. Yep, there's the starburst. I knew it was coming. And if I had lower movement speed, even just by a hair, that would have killed me. Well, I guess higher movement speed by a hair, that would have killed me. Lower movement speed would have meant I was safer. Safer? Safer? Come on. I don't think there's a single way you can use safe in a word with T. Safety. Yep. 
Yep. Huh? What was that sound bite? Why does that keep showing up? Oh, I guess. Why does that keep... Show... Here... Being up... Sounding up... Popping up... Poloka dancing... Yeah, that doesn't even remotely come close. Hmm. And just mention how good it would be if I had pentagram here, eh? Oh, gorgeous moon. Let's see, what would be like the alternate combination to go for super kills or some? Obviously you can get enough raw stats off the missing number that you don't need other things. Cooldown. You can start with enough cooldown. Uh, you're basically on limited attacking with something. Then you can also get high growth. So what's the combination between Miss Mina? Possibly the better one? I'm not sure if you can get cooldown, but you can get curse and grow. Combine that with good old wicked season. The weapon is terrible for it. Oh, I mean, you could just gorgeous move, but that's the advantage trousers, say, Christine would have for this, is that they don't have to use their level ups on anything but the weapon to do the crazy build with. And here's the exploding gems, which were way more dangerous than that other run since I had a boss and Lantian. No, oh, Arcana chest. And a stalker to contend with. Which means I couldn't avoid them whatsoever. Wow, well, of course it's at the end. Nope, oh, that means I'm probably going to be getting a drowner after this. I think I've actually seen a Maddener event now. The orange one is Maddener. Can't even tell if that's made into the video series that gets posted yet. Because there's been so many failures recently. Curse you, oh, number that is missing. Wait, a missing number? Oh my god, it's 11 teen. What the heck? Is that a blood skeleton? Jeez. I think blood skeletons just keep sneaking in whenever you aren't expecting them. Wait. Yeah, I'm almost getting a pattern of the sides being thrown out because they're coming out so fast and huge now. Yee. No need to grab anything else. Just keep it nice and safe with that. Skull counter climb. Six digits, not bad, not bad. And in the bone zone, too. Yep, if even the big bad skeleton waves are getting mowed down as well, so well, this should be a clean win at the end. Let it be a clean end. I need to stop recording. It's been so long. There's been so many failures. The title of the series, So Many Failures. Hopefully, hopefully, like I mentioned in the first half, I've hopefully finally gotten the visual quality down. Hopefully finally gotten the audio pass. No more echoing, which, well, I didn't post that part. No more echoing. Oh, right, I should be getting gems. Yep, there's Drowner, like I suspected. Yeah, I don't know what happened with the visuals, because it was perfectly fine when I was looking at it. And, like, when I stopped checking it with Pepino, trouser. Video quality had suddenly tanked completely. I didn't even change anything. That keeps happening. Like with Rebirth. Wow, was that game a complete pain to try and stream. HDR. It's painful. And I get it's on me for not getting the settings known ahead of time. But also the dang computer was delayed so I couldn't get it. Arg. 
Uh, well, that's in the past. We've got a nice, mighty... Wow. Look at them go. They're so strong. They're getting close. Ooh, can you face the eyes? Come on, get your eyes back. Your skeletons. You need eyes again. That way you'll be able to see. See into the peerless depths of madness. The eyes are coming for you. The eyes, the eyes, the eyes, the eyes, the eyes. They're staring at you at all the times in the mirror, in the mirror, in the mirror, right back at you. Death comes for us all. Huh. So if it's a solo up and you don't get the yellow tag? I hadn't noticed that before. So after a surprising amount of pain, Missy No has found out that his numbers are 144 and 145 on the Beswick. Two more down, two, well, not two more to go, 1,185 to go. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Like if you liked, disliked if you didn't. Like? Yes, that makes sense. Comment if there's any builds you want me to try. Subscribe if you want to support the channel. And keep mezzing around.